Happy Tuesday, everybody. I'm Eric. That's John. Winter weather advisory is back in effect. Yeah, there this has been a fun again. February. I'm digging this. Some more snow coming Absolutely. back. Absolutely. It's not today. It's no. not tonight. It's not tomorrow. It's starting tomorrow night. Mm. So. And, you know, this is following up what we had last really Thursday and a Friday. Really and, is. Uh, this is. This is a little, uh, a little bit little, of fun here. There's some similarities to what we just went through with last week. And this could be another extended pop of mm -hmm. snowy weather. But uh, drive home this afternoon is fine. Those yeah. are snow flurries. Mainly east of Rochester, you're starting to see a few of those showing up in the Finger Lakes. You know, one or two flakes. John's not out taking pictures of it, so you know it's not that no. big of a deal. A lot of it's melted already. A lot of it's melted already. Uh, so there's the advisory situation. And remember, in the chain of importance out of these, you've got winter weather advisory and then winter storm warning. The winter storm warning is the big snows. Yeah. That's not necessarily what this is going to end up being. So the advisory tells you you're going to have some tricky travel issues around here, especially Thursday morning, but we'll be able to make that drive. This is it, John. I mean, th this is the system that we're waiting on. Look at that swirl. Yeah, and, and right yesterday at this time we were watching it right over here, right? Yep. So and it's made some slight progress. Yeah. And we throw the water vapor on this. That's the upper level low. You see it pulling in some dry air behind mm. it, but that's all the moisture. And when this low starts sliding like this, we got that to connect to. So once it starts to uh, kind of tap in the Gulf of Mexico, this thing goes boom, and you end up getting a whole bunch of rain across the south, and then eventually the snow for us. Wednesday through the afternoon, no precip, you're fine. Yeah. By about the time you're going to bed, this is when the snow starts lifting northward. We'll start it in the southern tier. It'll take another hour or two to get up toward the throughway and beyond. But once it starts, it's going to be snowing through the night and through the morning on Thursday. Now, compared to yesterday, was it not a little bit more, we thought, rain at this area of northern yep. PA yesterday, but now we're showing some snow in the Wellsville area down into Bradford. So, And forth. here's the thing. I, I can show you models that bring the mix line all the way to about the throughway. Oh, wow. There is still right. some disconnect with that, how much warm air aloft there's going to be. I think a good rule of thumb at this point here is, you know, from Buffalo to Geneseo all the way to Syracuse and points north, this is likely going to be an all snow event. Mm -hmm. South of there, it's probably still a mostly snow event, but that's where you could get some mixing in here. The uh, everybody snows move on out, and then you start getting the some of you snow for the rest of the day Thursday, and the some of you will probably still include Rochester. Mm -hmm. That will be the lake effect uh, stuff coming in with the front, and then we see how many bands can continue with just the brutally cold air into the day on Friday. Now, in terms of accumulations out of this, this is what everybody wants to see. <laughs> I think the smartest thing to do at this point is breaking this up into two distinct events. The first one would be the snow beginning Wednesday night and then through most of the day on Thursday. That should blanket the vast majority of the area in a general three to six inches of heavy wet snow. All right. Beyond that, as we go into Thursday night and Friday, it's not everybody gets snow. It's some of you with that lake effect, but we will add several additional inches in your snow belt areas coming off of Lake Ontario mm. and your snow belt areas coming off of the east side of Lake Erie. So hypothetically, if we get some spots that see another two to four, for example, on top of that, you add that to your three to six, you know, now we're getting five to ten, six to ten in a few areas. But over a long period of time, it's not just going to happen in six hours. It's Wednesday night to Friday. Sure, a lot to watch, and then comes the bitter cold, and that's going to be a big story yeah. here. Um, you know, Friday, some of you end up getting snow. All of you are going to contend with this. It's just look at some of these numbers off into the southern tier. Corning's at 20 below wind chill, 22 below, 14, 16, 12, 11. Models got Rochester at close to 10 below zero. Is what it's going to feel like with an air temperature near zero. Mm. By Friday night and Saturday morning. And you would look at that and probably think Saturday is going to be a brutally cold day. Yeah. Not really. No. You warm up to about 30 on Saturday. Quickly, it's just, it's too. Amazing right? how yeah. fast it rebounds out of that. The uh, driving situation here, I think all of the commutes beginning Thursday morning all the way into uh, the Friday afternoon are going to be affected by this. Right. Everybody has problems Thursday morning, but it's going to be more isolated issues from there because of the lake effect situation. And I want to caution with this too, especially Friday night into early Saturday. Whatever we still have left over with the snow and what's already fallen, when sure. you are as cold as we are expecting, the salt's not going to do anything. No, no, it's not, not that kind of cold. Zero. Mm -mm. So, you know, that's where we get into how much snowfall do we get all the way through Friday. And if you haven't gotten rid of it by Friday, it, it's probably not going anywhere yeah. fast. Uh, bears watching. I mean, uh, very similar to what we saw last Saturday morning. You know, I yep. woke up, it was bone chilling cold, 
And you have to be careful because that kind of cold, the, the treatments really on the road won't do a whole lot. And you know how many times we've been to zero for air temperatures in Rochester this year? None. Zero. Right? Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> I haven't I been there. Any, yeah. It's going to be our uh, coldest day and coldest night, I think. Rest of the evening, 30s, flurries, no winter weather advisory for tonight, though, mm. so you're good there. We'll highlight both Thursday and Friday. I think the advisory, John, I, and I have go back and check on this, I think it only runs through the first half of Thursday. Mm -hmm. That is not because they think that it needs to go away. That's just, uh, we're probably going to have to add something on top of that. They'll modify but, that a little bit. But they maybe. might be looking at this too as two separate events. So the advisory through the first half of Thursday is for the system snow. Mm -hmm. And then they will very likely, I can't imagine they're not going to need something for uh, especially the Lakeshore counties for the rest of the day Thursday into the day Friday with that too. So this might be a situation in Rochester, for example, where you're under some semblance of a headline for snow from late Wednesday all the way through Friday. So it's another extended duration event. Breaking freezing on Sunday wow. after a zero. You go back to 36 on Sunday. That's amazing. Uh, relatively mild air. You know, it's not crazy warm, but uh, you're still above freezing as we go into early next week too. It's a diverse forecast up and down like it's been all winter, but uh, this will be fun in here if you're a winter weather lover. Got to be careful. Do you know where you're thinking about going, by the way? I'm holding it close to the vest right okay. now. Okay, all right. Yeah. Uh, There'll be a train shot in there somewhere, I'm sure. Well, that's a given, I yeah. think, at this yeah. point. I'll, I'll go out maybe <laughs> Wayne County somewhere. We'll see. All right. It'll like be it fun there. to figure out. We'll watch for that and uh, <laughs> watch for us. We'll be back on TV at 5. We'll see you. Take care.